red is equal to 255. And um, actually, not, not 255. Um, if red is equal to green and uh, red is equal to blue, then we're going to do handler.add object. And we're going to do new block i times 16, j times 16, 16, 16, 0, 3. And let's go ahead and import this block. Oh, right, so um, not a semicolon there. We want to have a curly braces. OK, so we do this. And this is basically saying, OK, if red is equal to green, red is equal to blue, so if all the colors are the same, um, then we're going to go ahead and load in a block. And at what position do we want to load it in? We want to load it in at the pixel value and we want to um, let's go ahead and go back to our block so we can reference that right so we have the x y width height index and scale so we have the x and y position we have the width and the height we have the index and we have the scale um, And we want to just do the same for our different um, objects in the game. And right now we only have a block and a, pix uh, a pipe. So let's go ahead and do the pipe next. So else if blue is equal to 0 and green is equal to 0 and red is equal to 5. Then we want to go ahead and do handler dot add object new pipe and inside here we want to do i times sixteen j times sixteen thirty two sixteen zero three and false and let's go ahead and import the pipe. So remember, this is the x, y, the width, height. Um, and actually, so in, an, in a previous episode, we sort of, we, we did scale and then index. Um, but just to keep it the same as the block here, where it's index and scale, let's go ahead and flip this. So let's do index and then scale just so that we match the oops, just so that we match the order of our block okay so now let's do so this is the index this is the scale and this is whether or not it's um, whether or not it's enterable and we just have a couple more scenarios with our pipe so um, Let's just go ahead and um, copy that in. So um, I wrote these out beforehand. So let me go ahead and just copy these in. And it's just a bunch of else ifs. So if the color in this case is 10, then we want to go ahead and load in a different, a different sprite. And if it's 15, then we want to load in a different sprite. Um, these two at the bottom, we're setting this last value to true so that these pipes are enterable. And that's, that's that. So that's it for set level. Now let's go ahead and fill in our um, load characters function. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's go down here and do private void load characters string level 
characters path. And this is going to be very similar. So let's just go ahead and copy this actually. So let's copy this. Um, let's just copy this whole thing. And let's just remove um, some of the code here. So let's remove all of this. And let's go ahead and fix this. So this is going to be level characters path. And we're still getting the same width and the height, so we're still parsing the width and the height from this. We're still uh, from this image. We're still going through each pixel value. We're still doing the same get RGB and doing our our math on it. We're still skipping over if it's a white pixel. And here we just want to go ahead and add some logic so that we can load in our our player. Um, and there's actually too many curly braces here. So in here, let's just do if red is equal to zero, then let's do handler dot set player, um, and let's do new player i 16 comma j times 16 scale of 3 in handler and it's going to import this okay so now we have our level handler class and now let's go back to our game class here and let's go ahead and um yeah, let's go ahead and 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 bring our level handler handler that we just created into our game class. So let's do private level handler level handler and let's go ahead and initialize it in our initialize function. So right here let's go ahead and do level handler is equal to new level handler handler um, and let's go ahead and capitalize this L and let's go ahead and import this and let's go ahead and cart that, call that start method now so let's do level handler dot start and we no longer need this temporary code because we handle all the block generation and player generation inside our level handler. So let's go ahead and remove that. And let's go ahead and give our code a run. Um, okay. So, right, so let's see, so it's saying, um, something in here is null, which is this thing. So, um, oh, right, so we need a forward slash here. So it's just a small typo. And let's go ahead and try to give it a run now. Okay, cool. So now we have our blocks um, being generated. We have our pipes being generated. And we have our player being generated. So everything looks really good now. And it's actually starting to look like the Super Mario Bros that we all know. Um, yeah, so this is really exciting. It's still not quite the same uh, game that we all know, but uh, it looks a lot better than last time. So.
yeah, that was very exciting. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it and learned a lot. Um, let's try to get 200 likes in this video. And yeah, if you like this, in, if you like this video, please um, like and subscribe. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to add those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer those for you. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, I hope you learned a lot and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, bye.